Hello everyone, this is me, Sadhya here, and I'm back with the first week of uh, July reads, start from the 1st through the 7th of July, 2023. This reading is going to be for the sign of uh, Gemini. So Gemini, let's see what is coming in for you for this week time. I will be adding Oracle Guidance as well in this reading, so stay tuned on before I dive into the read. Let me remind you, it's a general read, it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there, so pick whatever resonates, I'll leave the rest. So let's dive into the read and let's see what's coming in. I really feel like, you know, with the King of Pentacles, I really see um, there is financial aid, financial support coming up for you, whether you need it or you don't. It can be some expensive gifts coming your way as well, but I really see somebody is going to be helping you a lot with your finances. So if you have been struggling, if you have been having issues financially, I really feel like, you know, there is a support coming up for you financially because I really see uh, some money coming your way and uh, it's, it's more like a support it's not like something that you're gonna get a loan off or something that you have to pay uh, pay pay off later on i really feel like you know, there is help there is support coming up financially for you so if you are in need of that it's a good news that is coming your way with uh with with this uh, person offering you financial um you know assistance now i really feel like you know with the king of wands i really feel like you know um for majority of you uh, you you might be uh, dealing with with the um, two different scenarios. For some of you, I really feel like you know maybe maybe there is um, there is somebody who you are working with, and that person is somebody that you are in a relationship with as well. So maybe you are in a relationship, or there is an offer coming from a person at your work front. Uh, or if not, then there are two people in your life who are coming towards you. Um, you will be indecisive. You will be unsure of your feelings towards both of them because I really feel like, you know, there there is a chance of uh, you not having the clarity of uh, who you should be. Like there, there is a tie between two people for you. And you, you don't know, maybe one person has been the support that you need and the other person is adding a lot of passion into your life. So for some of you, you might be getting indecisive when it comes to your love life because there are two people coming for you. There are two people who are in your life. And one is somebody who's very stable financially there for you. And the other person is somebody who's, uh, who's very passionate, somebody who excites you, somebody who's, you know, who always makes you feel like, you know, you're living your best life. So you are going to have a mask on. I really feel like, you know, it's you who's going to be indecisive. It's you who's going to be having two people. Um, but yes, um, it's it's going to be a week where you're going to be having good times. Why? Because um, you're indecisive, but you are getting loved and pampered by two people. So I really feel like, you know, this, this week is going to be filled with a lot of passion, excitement. You will be making some bestest memories of your life during this week time. With, with these people around you in your life, I really feel like, you know, you would be having a good time. Like, you would be having a blast, basically. Um, for some of you, I really don't see you um, emotionally attached or invested with either one of them. I really feel like, you know, you're just living in the moment and enjoying your life to the fullest right now with both of them. Now, for some of you, um, if there has been a person in your life that you were dealing with, that you were having a relationship with, who was indecisive, who was passionate in bed, who was everything that you want in a relationship, but just that they were not giving you the commitment that you wanted. I really feel like, you know, you will see some sort of change coming from this person towards you in love. And you're going to feel that this person is more available to you emotionally. So that can also be the case for some of you. But overall, it's going to be an extraordinary week for you when it comes to your love life, because there's a lot happening. There's a lot of passion, excitement coming up for you. Financially, I do see some sort of a boost coming for you. Um, but yes, I really see you very fulfilled and happy and excited with two aces. Um, coming here, Ace of Wands and Ace of Souls pair up with Nine of Cups and Ten of Cups. I really see a new beginning for majority of you. I really see a new passion or ignited passion or a reignited passion that you're going to be experiencing with someone specific in love. So I really see um, happy, fun times between you and your specific someone. Communication will be a lot more than usual and uh, Yes, I really feel like, you know, you are going to be indecisive who to choose and who to, 
give more time to. So there are two people who are going to be like, you know, fighting for your time and uh, your attention for sure. Let's see some Oracle guidance for you. Hold on. <clears throat> what is the Oracle guidance for you? What is the Oracle guidance for you? romantic feelings uh which are worth exploring i really feel like you know there is a romantic connection definitely taking place here between you and the specific someone uh maybe you are building that side of a connection with the specific someone at your work front but it can be uh the other person too so i really feel like you know there is some sort of a um romance coming up for you in your life in this week time and I really feel like, you know, I, to be honest, I really don't see you decisive about either one of them at all. Like you would have feelings towards one person, you would have feelings for the other person too. But both the feelings are going to be different. For one person, probably it's more of uh, the respect. And the, for the other person, there is more of the sexual uh, feelings that I feel uh, is coming up for you. So I really feel like, you know, um, for some of you, maybe it's an extramarital affair. For others of you, yes, maybe you are dealing with two people at a time. And you are not so sure of who to choose and who not to choose right now. You're happy having both of them and you're getting all the attention and love coming from both of them. So let's see what else is uh, the guidance for you. I really feel like you know, two people, two lovers have been showing up for a few signs that I did already. So maybe there is some sort of a planetary movements happening such where, you know, there are multiple lovers coming in. Maybe universe is raining uh, men or women in your life right now. But yeah, I really see that this week is going to be tremendously good in terms of, uh, especially for those of you who are completely single. I really feel like, you know, you will be having choices in love. And if you are already with the person, yes, there will be some sort of a kind of... Um, war between two people to to get your attention and get your love so it's time for tea time i try to enjoy a moment right now because i really feel like you know there's like there's you know whatever that is is right now so enjoy that moment fully with with the you know whatever that you are having beautiful life is something that you're going to be living during this week time so try not to think negative or overthink anything right now just live your life to the fullest and know your worth when when you're being in a relationship or being in a situation with someone try not to repeat the mistakes that you did in the past and try to know what you're worthy of because if you know that you will be able to make the right choices in love for sure so yeah that's pretty much it coming up for you for this week time if it was of help do like share and subscribe till i do the next read for you guys take care bye